Welcome everyone to GamerMeld. Today we answer the question of Intel's new KA models, 12th gen gets DDR5, Big Navi comes with a ton of memory, next gen Ryzen is 5000, and we get new info on AMD's next gen 16 core monster. But first, with over 500 champions, each with their own skill tree and millions of artifacts to collect, there's endless possibilities with today's sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends, the free-to-play RPG with tons of champions to collect and upgrade. My favorite right now is Gorgorab, whose animate ability revives dead allies with 25% HP and then heals all allies for 25%. Not only that, but Raid is constantly adding new features like their new Champion Fragments which lets you collect pieces of champions to summon a specific character. So don't wait, go to the video description, click on the special link, and if you're a new player you'll get 10 Mystery Shards, 1 Energy Refill, 100,000 Silver, and a free awesome champion, Hexweaver. Okay, it's news time and first up for today I've got an update on the recent story I did about a few Intel chips that were spotted with a new KA designation. Originally found and shared by Tom Apisak, you can see there's a new listing that shows an Avengers box. Well, Tom's hardware ended up reaching out to Intel and they confirmed that the new KA SKUs are actually code for an upcoming Avengers promotion that's basically nothing but a normal K model in a new box. Why? So yeah, not new models after all, but maybe it'll be something to power your next Iron Man suit with. Next up, it looks like Intel's upcoming Alder Lake S desktop series of CPUs are going to be a really big change. Besides the fact that we've seen leaks of a big dot little design and it's on 10 nanometers, Intel's upcoming 12th gen looks like it'll support DDR5. In a story by Video Cards, they received some code that makes it clear we can expect the new memory standard to be supported. And that makes sense. Remember that Alder Lake will require a new motherboard with the leaked LGA 1700 socket. Not only that, but it's the same time we expect AMD to move everything over to a new AM5 socket, which means we may see the switch from AMD at the same time. Of course, memory speeds typically help AMD more than Intel since their Infinity Fabric interconnect relies on it, but there's also a limit to how high it can clock. Either way, Intel is definitely gearing up to move things to the new standard. Next up for today, the well-known leaker in Chipel's forums, WJM47196, gave us an update on Navi21, which is rumored to be AMD's upcoming big Navi GPU. As you can see, he states that there are two variants, one with 12GB of VRAM and one with an unbelievable 16. Whoa, yeah, whoa, that's whoa, a lot. Whoa, whoa. Not long ago, RO Games shared multiple SKUs for Big Navi, so we know there's set to be quite a few. But 16GB? Ultimately, if this is true, AMD is seriously going all out. Of course, that doesn't mean their flagship will beat NVIDIA's, but maybe there's a chance. Lastly for today, I've actually got a few new stories on AMD's 4th gen Ryzen, starting things off, believe it or not, with the naming scheme. What did you say? That's right. This comes from the same post on Chipel's forum as the last story, and in it, WJM states that Zen 3 is set to skip Ryzen 4000 and go straight to Ryzen 5000. Now, obviously he calls it a rumor, but I've got to admit that it makes a lot of sense. Simply put, AMD's newest APUs have been gaining a lot of traction and are definitely talked about quite a bit, but those are still based on Zen 2. AMD likely doesn't want anyone getting them confused, especially since 4th Gen Ryzen is based on the complete architectural redesign that is Zen 3. Still, it's not like AMD hasn't released the APUs first before. I guess this will just be a wait and see. The second bit of information which I will say is far more reliable, besides the fact that it comes from Igor's lab, we also know what the source is. It's a new OPN code, and it's of the 16 core 4950X or 5950X if that last story was accurate. Either way, Igor states that this part represents the clocks, so this engineering sample has a 3.7 GHz base clock and a whopping 4.9 GHz boost. That means we're talking a 200 MHz higher base and boost clock when compared to the 3950X. Now what's interesting is that this is an update right after a previous Igor's lab story. In that story, he shared an OPN code with a boost of 4.8 GHz, so by release there could be one that finally hits 5 GHz. 
With that said, these are very new and AMD's next gen is right around the corner. So this could represent the final boost clocks, which honestly isn't bad. I originally wrote this based on the previous OP encode, where the base clock was the same and the boost was only 100 MHz higher, and I was going to say that I was a bit disappointed. But this is much better. A 200 MHz base clock increase is huge in and of itself. And get this, Igor also shared a new feature that could potentially get overclocks to the fabled 5 GHz, even if this stays at 4.9. In a recent changelog, it was found that AMD is adding support for per-core voltage control, which was a new feature Intel added to their 10th gen chips to get that extra bit of performance. Hopefully that'll get us to 5 GHz, though of course I'm also expecting a decent IPC increase out of 4th gen Ryzen, so these upcoming CPUs could be a very serious upgrade. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's new Ryzen 4000 or 5000 series of CPUs? And what do you think of that potential name change? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.